Hello and welcome to this 4NAV coffee break. My name is Mark Brommel, I'm a senior product specialist at 4NAV and I will be your presenter today. Today we're going to use group headers and group totals to show accumulated data in a 4NAV report. To, to do this we're going to go through three steps. In the first step we're going to create a brand new report with the Business Central customer letter entries. In the second step, we will just start with a simple group showing the totals for only one field, the customer number. And in the third step, we're going to add a second group, also grouping based on the posting date. Let's start with the first step. In the Fornav Designer, I'm going to select New, Report Templates, and I'm going to select the last template from the list, the list template as AL extension. Out of the box, the source table that Fornav is using for this template is the customer table. I'm going to change that. I'm going to change it into customer ledger entry. Now I'm going to select the fields I want to use for my report, which are the customer number, the customer name, posting date and the amount. And I just know that the customer name is not going to be populated. Microsoft does not populate that because of time uh, database size constraints. So I'm going to replace that with a field lookup. And I'm going to add the same field captions. I will make the captions bold and a little bit bigger. I also want to change the sorting. I'm going to sort on customer number. And then on posting date. This is important for my grouping. I cannot group without sorting. One disables the other. And I only want to see document types with the filter credit memo. Or invoice. I don't want to see payments or discounts. Now I need to give my report a unique name and I'm going to change the number into something that I know I have not used before. Now I can save my report in my database. And after a few moments, the report will be available in my Business Central tenant. I can run the report and preview the results. Let's go ahead with the next step. We're going to add grouping for the customer number field. The first step is to design the report from the Business Central web client. Once the report is open, the first step is that I'm going to tell Fornav that I want to start grouping on a certain field. In this case, my field is the customer number. The second step is to right click on my body and insert a group header, 
right click on body again and insert a footer. In my group header I want to print my customer number. I will make that italic and I will make that pink and in my body in my group footer I want to print the amount and I will show you a neat trick I will copy and paste the body and I'm going to delete the first two fields the amount is now nicely aligned, aligned to the amount of the of the rows and I don't want to print the posting date but I want to print the word total which I'm going to quickly grab from my standard captions. I want to print these bold and I'm also going to make them a little bit pink so we can see that these are the totals. Let's preview the results. We can see in our report that the report now starts printing with the pink italic customer number. We can also see here, and we, we will zoom in a little bit, that here we print the total, and then we start with the next customer number with again a total etc etc let's make the report a little bit nicer we're going to say that we want to print a new page per group let's preview again this looks nice we actually get a group for each customer number with totals. Now let's see how we can work with multiple groups. The first thing we will do is we are going to add the posting date to the group total fields. We are also going to add a second group header and this is going to contain the posting date. I will indent it a little bit, make it italic and let's make this one light green. Let's insert a group footer as well jump that up one level and we're going to pull the same trick except in this case I don't want to see the word total and I want this guy to be green so now how are we going to distinguish which group to print when so now we're going to have to tell the system that this group header is connected to the total field for customer number. And let's copy this into this. And this group header, we're going to tell the system that it's connected to posting date. Let's copy that to the clipboard. Let's paste it again. And now let's see what the result is. So now we'll see that it prints the total for each posting date in the report. Obviously the new page per group property uh, doesn't really do a, a neat trick anymore. So let's disable that property and see if we can find another way to print uh, to group customers together. 
let's reset this property we will create a new text box right here next to the amount of the group footer and in the source expression we're going to say curryport.newpage so let's see what effect that has the report starts printing at custom num customer number 10,000 and let's browse through and here we can see that it actually jumps to a new page for customer number 20,000 So let's summarize the steps that we did in this coffee break. The first step was to create a report based on the customer ledger entries. And remember that we set the sorting on the fields that we want to group on. No grouping without sorting. In the second step, we added a group for the totals for one field. This will suffice in 90 or 95% of the cases. And in the third step, we've added the handling of, of grouping on more than one field. Remember, we added the posting date. And here we have to tell Fornav which group is for which total. If you want to know more, please visit our website, uh, fornav.com. On fornav.com slash download, you can download the designer that I used to make the report and make the changes in this video. If you want to get started with Fornav, we recommend uh, visiting Microsoft App Source and downloading the report pack. This will get you started with out-of-the-box, nice-looking reports that are optimized for Fornav. If you want to see more of these uh, coffee breaks, go to uh, youtube.com slash Fornav reports. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact uh, via our support channel, support at Fornav.com. If you want to see more coffee breaks, uh, we, we are regularly doing them live. If you visit fornav.com slash coffee break, you can see the upcoming live coffee breaks. If you have a question and your question is not yet covered in a coffee break, you can send us a topic suggestion. Um, if we cover your topic, you will win uh, two prizes. The first prize is that you get an answer to your question. And the second prize is a 50 euro or US dollar gift certificate as a thank you uh, for your suggestion. And please send them to info at Thanks and see you again in another, another coffee break.